The relevance of cultural heritage. Identity. Heritage and identity appear to have a straightforward relationship until trying to understand what identity actually is. Identification is something that aggregates people, no matter how different their individual selves may be, and is about exclusion as well as inclusion. In order to identify with something, an individual or collective needs to disidentify with something else. Identity is not just about identification, but it's also a meaning ascribed to similarity and difference. It is in this sense that identity comes close and can be confused with culture. However, identity and culture are not synonymous, as identity always entails action, the action of making and being part of. Being part of requires a narrative in which people locate themselves and are located in. Narratives are constituted through representation and performance, conveying not only who people are, but also who they will become. This results from what they have selected from the past and retained in the present. In order for identities to be effective, they need to be established through materialisation. Throughout the human past, societies, cultures and individuals have expressed themselves through objects of material culture. Objects have been used and created to associate, affiliate, convey and embody identities of culture, ethnicity, gender and sexuality, giving narratives of belonging or disassociation. Heritage, that is, past material culture, provides a symbolic solidarity felt by generations of heterogeneous individuals towards a unifying narrative of belonging and is a resource for the representation of identities and a place for its performance. The material world today has been fashioned over thousands of years. It is a product of, and a constraint upon, all aspects of societies, individual psychologies, beliefs and the understandings of the past, present and future goals. Memory is an important aspect of heritage and identity. History is always about memory, bringing the past into the present. Something historical is an artefact that contains something its author wished to be remembered. This is also true of artefacts which are not historical, where a narrative is told through the expression of material culture. Heritage is central to how people view themselves, their communities and their nations. It can define the identity of societies, cultures, individuals and geographic or political areas. Knowing about different cultural heritage is intrinsically valuable when thinking and understanding communities of people in space and time. Identities which transcend national boundaries, such as cultural identity and religion, can contribute to cultural homogeneity among certain nations through similarities and difference of taste, customs and values. Identities, however, are not always consciously captured and are the outcome of an implicated and engaged social agency. Because of this, identity is intimately related with politics and power relations that publicly assert particular versions of who people are and who they are not. The way in which heritage is investigated, interpreted, understood and presented can affect identities and can also be used as a political tool to enrich and manipulate the present. Thank you for watching this video by Simple Archaeology. Please subscribe for notifications on the next video which will discuss politics and cultural heritage.